I am taken back by the level of pure evil that has transpired when our suspect brutally murdered an innocent woman and a young child. About 5.30 this evening, we receive a 911 call when a roommate who also lives in the mobile home uh, down the road here came home and found, uh, found our victims. Deputies arrive on scene and immediately discovered that it was an extremely gruesome scene. Gruesome scene. An adult female laying in the backyard of the house in her own puddle of blood. A bloody handprint that we believe is hers as she was fighting for her life, trying to escape the violence that was occurring inside this mobile home. This gruesome scene got even worse when the deputies made entry into the residence and found a small child brutally murdered. Brutally murdered. These two innocent victims were beaten to death by blunt force trauma. Around 3.40 this afternoon, as we're doing our neighborhood survey, we learned that the neighbor did hear the scream, uh, a female scream. They didn't contact law enforcement because they say that this wasn't something out of the ordinary. We believe that our suspect fled on foot. Yes, he is dangerous. He has killed somebody who he was romantically involved with. He has killed his own child. Where are we at now? State Attorney Lopez is on scene. Our search warrant has been approved. We are now just starting to piece everything together of what has transpired inside and outside of this mobile home. As you can see, we have a large contingency of law enforcement in the area. Our helicopter, our aviation unit is out here, uh, our canine unit, and, a se and several, I mean numerous deputies and detectives as we continue to canvas this area. Our suspect is Angel Kuschak, an Hispanic male, 31 years of age. Angel, if you're listening, hear me loud and clear. Turn yourself in. Do yourself and this community a favor and turn yourself in and turn yourself in now because I promise you there is nowhere where you can hide that we won't find you.